my name is Katie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am talking more about author Brittany Wang's books in her fantasy series. So I brought y'all Wings of Betrayal. So if you still haven't read that yet, please do. This series is so, so good. I like every book has a new twist, has more questions. Like, oh, it's so good. So today I'm bringing you the Sylphs and the nymphs. So the Sylph book is called Palace of Potions. They have started the competition and it's at the Sylph Palace. So the blurb is, Quinn entered the Ethodyne for her brother. Now she has to survive it. Quinn has never felt so out of control, stripped of her precious daggers. She's thrust into the privileged world of the potion-making Sylphs in their floating sky city. While preparing for the first dangerous trial, she plots to retrieve her weapons from Moonface at any cost. But neither task is as easy as she hopes. She doesn't expect foreboding visions of her brother to start haunting her dreams or the stakes of the Ethodyne to be so high. Besides the flirty nymph prince who can't seem to leave her alone, she now faces the Sylph Queen and three other powerful competitors. A half-blind artist, a mute beast tamer, and a pompous princess. Just when everything starts falling apart, an unlikely ally offers a deal to get everything she's always wanted. But trust is fragile. It will take more than promises to survive the perils of the Ethodyne. Palace of Potions is the second episode, and y'all, the <laughs> the little snips that Brittany put in there about the ally, about the nymph prince, like, about the dangerous trial will blow your mind. What's really cool is how Brittany added some of the world um, history into the book. Um, there's this whole panel of paintings, which we find out a certain person painted and um, it depicts like the history or is it the real history? Um, lots of questions, holy cow, and I think um, book three also kind of explores that as well, like what really happened, why did it happen, um, and various things, how she says the visions are coming, like oh, in the tome, there's this book, there's this symbol, and it all Quinn clicks things together and it just starts off on the like mysterious like what is this who am I what happened path and I can't wait to figure all of that out and I love I'll talk about this in, from book three um, her relationship with a certain person but um, so I love the scene where uh, Quinn accidentally happens upon all the rest of the competitors who have known each other this whole time. They've kind of grown up together or have already been preparing for the Ethodyne and that's what her brother was doing when he got killed. And oh my gosh, there are so many like theories of like, did he really die? Is he one of like the masked people or the hooded people or like all these things? Like no one really... Everyone hopes he's still alive. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's all these really fun theories and I would love if y'all read it to please talk about it down below. But yeah, so she meets the kobold. She, of course, sees Aaron. Um, the kobold's name is Hickory. Um, he's painting Aaron. And then the way that Princess Vale is introduced is just perfect. And then we see Alice with her dragon and that was a cool scene. And yeah, like Alice is so mysterious. Hickory's so mysterious. Um, you still, like, even in book three, you kind of learn more about Hickory, but not so much Alice, and you're just like, I need Alice, like, I need to know. <laughs> so, from what I got from this book, um, Alice seems like she, like, understands something in Quinn, and I don't know if because it's because possibly Quinn is part dragon, or, like, she got passed down some stuff, um, because she's got some magics, and I don't know if she can, like, read Quinn, maybe. And then Hickory, his um, trial that's going to happen at the kobold place, like, I'm curious for him because he's partially blind. He doesn't do well in the dark. He already has, like, a heavy addiction kind of to um, the pixie dust. And so I'm just, like, fearful for him passing his own test. <laughs> and then Aaron, he's got this whole thing going I'll talk about in book three. Um, but maybe I can't talk about everything because it's spoilers. Um... I'm talking about book two more because it's been out for two weeks now, but Sea of Secrets drops today. The third in this, it's the um, Nymph Palace part. Oh yeah, and then that twist with the ally, if that's what the ally Brittany's talking about. That was a good twist and learning about that history and it makes me wonder like if the queen even doesn't want to be queen anymore, you know? Um, like if she kind of got thrown into that position and it's not something she wants, just like Quinn got thrown into this and it's not really something that she wants. So I'm very curious to see how all of this plays out. 
the actual trial of knowledge. Oh my god. <laughs> that was nuts though. And um, I forgot what it reminded me of, but Brittany did say it was kind of like uh, one of the Indiana Jones movies where the walls are closing in. Um, but it's just scary. Oh my gosh. And um, yeah, you just don't know who's going to make it out of these trials. They're literally like trials to the death. Like, oh my gosh. And Aaron keeps doing super sweet things for Quinn and keeps helping her, which is one of the things Quinn hates. And so um, their dynamic is super fun. And in book three, they have the cutest scene together until it gets ruined. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that was it for my uh, Palace of Potions still trial book two review and commentary. Um, so the next one, Sea of Secrets, which came out today. So I'm not going to say too much on it. I haven't even written my own review at this point, but this is the blurb for it. Quinn is back at sea, but this time it's dripping with secrets. After barely surviving the first trial in the Ethodyne, Quinn wrestles with new mysteries as she enters the underwater world of the nymphs, Aaron's domain. As she prepares for the next perilous trial, Quinn struggles to keep her distance from Aaron and his gorgeous bride-to-be while also desperate to solve countless questions. How is the ancient tome Hickory Stole connected with her nightmares? Did Vale really have a romantic past with Aaron? Uh, and what is hiding behind Alice's cold demeanor? For real! Answer me that, Brittany. It's only at the nymph's underwater masquerade that dark secrets finally begin to unravel. But without a talent to impress the trial of beauty's vicious judge, solving other mysteries might be the least of Quinn's worries. Sea of Secrets is the third episode. So yeah, <laughs> the judge is a surprise judge and um, probably my favorite part of the book. But first of all, Brittany's world building in this book is so cool how she does this like underwater world, how she protects the nymph palace um, from water infiltrating and then they're kind of like in a fishbowl almost like there's this dome around them. Um, the contestants are all in these little pods along the water and um, there's just a lot of cool little details like that. Oh, um, the trial. <laughs> the trial itself. Like, oh my gosh, what Alice does. Like, mind blown, end of chapter 7, just like, oh my gosh. I, yeah, and now I really want to know what happens with that beast. Um, I'm trying not to spoil things, of course, while Simi's still talking about it, but Hickory's painting blew my mind. So him and Quinn are finally starting um, to decipher things together, which was really exciting. I love their friendship and um, just like remarks they make to each other. Um, Aaron's got some stuff to sort out. You find things out about his dad and his poor mom. Oh my gosh. His dad is like destroying her brain, I think. Like, it's terrible. Vale, we've got Alice. I still am so confused by her. <laughs> um, and like... I don't know if her and Hickory have something going on in terms of the um, competition itself or each other or what, I don't know. Um, they are both still a mystery in those regards, but yeah, Alice was attending some stuff and I was rooting her on, but like, holy cow. Um, Aaron's trial, um, he had a lot of hiccups and I don't know, like Quinn was thinking someone sabotaged him, but I don't know. Um, and then Quinn's performance. Hickory finding out that Quinn might have a power, like, ah, oh, so much stuff happened in this book. Yeah, there was just a lot. A lot of surprises, a lot of more questions, a lot of um, juicy tidbits that was really exciting to read. Um, book four is going to be in the Dryad territory, and um, that one sounds just as dangerous. So this one, the danger was the beast eating the people, <laughs> eating the contestants, um, and it was a close call for, like, everybody. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, so that was really good. Brittany's like really clever in creating these trials that have like a death component to them. Um, so I think you're really going to enjoy, if you haven't read Palace of Potions, read that one and then Sea of Secrets. They just keep getting better and better with more information and more questions. And yeah, I just am so in love with this series and I can't wait. Let me know if y'all are reading it down below. Um, I am on her art team, so I'm getting these ahead of time. And yeah, I cannot wait to start the Dryad book. And then Kobold is next. So, oh, lots of stuff coming. I can't wait to explore all these characters. Let me know if y'all have any questions about these books down below. And thank y'all for watching this video. I will see y'all next time. Bye!